Hello there, Master Hallish here, and welcome to a brand new series of Railroot. Now, I did previously do a, a small series of Railroot. It was a, a preview or alpha series, but now the game is out in the early access. So if you want to have a go at the game, you can head out to Steam and purchase it now. And if you want to know how to play, well, you can check out my tutorial series. And the link to that is not in the description. It's in the game. This button here. The video tutorials button, YouTube English videos, that's my video series. If you want to help, have help with playing the game, then feel free to check that out. And thanks to the devs for including that in the game. Now, we're going to crack on with this series and we're going to do another endless one. I have done some of the timetable stuff before and I might do one of them on a live stream at some point. But the endless one is really where I feel the most passion with this game. And because I'm from the UK, we're going to do the Glasgow one. I had hoped to make my own map before this series started, but I just didn't have the time to do that. And I have fond memories of visiting Glasgow, so that's something else for me too. I went to watch Robot Wars there, live. It was fantastic. Now, uh, like I said, I'm going to do Glasgow. If you want to play along and play the Glasgow game yourself, then please do join in because I will be asking for your game saves so I can have a look at how you've approached this and maybe we can compare how I've done and how you've done and all that sort of thing, similar to the way that I did in my Open TTD Series 6 challenge. So, with no more further ado, let's get this new series up and rolling with a brand new Glasgow game. Yes! Been looking forward to this. Definitely. There we go. So we got the useful hint screen. Didn't used to have that at the beginning of um, of the preview version. And it's telling us about contracts and stuff. Now, I'm going to gloss over some things because if you really want to know, I've got my tutorial series. But basically, it's telling us some um, hints and tips. I'm just going to close this one. We'll let them pop up when they want to. So this is our map. Uh, we've got quite a wide map. Um, at one end we've got Ashfield we go across with Glasgow Central in the middle and over at the far side here what we've got we've got is that Wifflet Wifflet oh my goodness you guys are going to have to really correct me on these I think Motherwell some of these are easier Newton and so forth but we've got uh, three stations here we've got one flashing at us already Okay, Bridgeton is saying, hey, you've got a contract. How many contracts have we got? Okay, so we've got six active contracts at the moment. And the reward for all of them is 2,000. We've got 15,000 in the monies and no XP. So I guess we just need to do what we're told to begin with and then we can expand as we go. So what have we got? It says platform two... Bridgeton to this one. Uh, Cumbernolod. What? I'm going to have to have that one. We're going to call it Dave. Right, Bridgeton to Dave. So we're going to platform two. So we're going to switch that track. That one's okay. We're going to accept the train on platform two. Here it comes. And it's going to stop for a minute there. And it is only just with within the boundaries of being on time and then we're going to allow it straight through to platform three brilliant okay now let's have a look at the timetable here so coming later we've got the return of that same train onto platform one then we've got a new commuter train then the return of that and then freight to easter house Okay, so Easter houses are like freight alternative. Cool. So we're just going to run this service for a little while and think about how we can expand it and let the new contracts come in. I think the first thing that I would like to do is get this up to a dual track system. Oh, we need to turn that train round. Should have turned it round whilst it was waiting at the signal, but never mind. Um... And we need to check which platform it's going back on. So, what did I say? Platform 1. Okay, there we go. Right, off you go now. Hopefully it won't be late. What time is it supposed to arrive? It's supposed to arrive at 8 minutes past. 
Yeah, it's already six minutes past. I think it's going to be late. Pretty sure it's going to be late, but never mind. Uh, oh, actually, we might just make it. Oh, it's going to be close. Let's zoom in a little bit more. Speed it up just a touch. Oh, yeah. We didn't get a penalty on that one for it being late. Brilliant. We've got some money, and the next train wants to leave on platform two. Okay, let's set that going. Now, one of the things that I would love to have is being able to accept trains like right away at the platform. That's one of the earliest upgrades I would love to have. So, let's have a look. Is it under automation? Auto accept trains. There we go. So, this is a new UI element within the automation which allows you to toggle auto accept trains. And if we click that, we get the information. It says this. Upgrade unlocks the new configuration options to auto accept trains in the station. Brilliant. Uh, does apply only to trains with a designating platform. And it's got a little, little animation there showing us. So that's what I want. I would love to be able to unlock that. So let's, let's speed things along. We need to get five trains sorted before we can then... Uh, do anything else so this time i'm going to make sure that that train's turned around on time and we're ready to receive the next train on platform one what's this oh we've we've hit our contract limit okay yeah that's fine so now this train stopped we're going to switch it round, get it to go to platform one and clear that and it looks like like the the freight train to platform two will be next so we can get this switch and we can actually just click on that train and see yes it is going to Easter House and it's gonna come via platform 2 and we can clear that straight away so as soon as that train is ready to come on we can accept it on platform 2 and it will just go and then we get another train to accept on platform 2 it's another commuter train and we can just let that one go and we're doing brilliant. Money's flowing in. I don't think we've had a penalty yet. We have blocked out on um, on contracts, though. That's the only downside at the moment. But I think what we'll do is we'll just get let the train run at normal speed. Train? The game run at normal speed. Now, at the moment, I'm not willing to go to a new station, so I'm just going to decline anything that says we need a new station, which is all but one of them. And this one is offering us up, up to two grand for going um, up there and back again. I guess we could do that, but we can only do that once a train has returned. And if we look at the timetable, it's like gone, back, depart, gone, back, depart, gone, back. I mean, there is a gap here, actually. So... At roughly 8.55, we can accept that contract. But with our current infrastructure, we just can't handle more than that. And I'm pretty sure we can't really afford any more than that either. Okay, let's get ready to accept this train back onto Platform 1. Remember to turn it round. Get the signal sorted out. Yep. No problem. Well, we're doing pretty good, pretty good. The XP's coming in. We're using our existing line to make some money. I'm quite happy with this so far. There we go. That's going to be the full 2k there, please. No penalty. Thank you very much. There we go. Next train is all ready to roll. And like I said, there's, a, there's going to be a gap in the timetable here where we'll be able to accept the next contract. But I don't want to get too distracted by the contracts at the minute. And miss a click for one of the trains. So let's have a look. Let's decline that one. Decline that one. And that one. And that one. So we've got a two now as an option to, to accept there. We've got a new train that's about to come onto platform two. Right. We've got a useful hints thing now. It's because we've got some experience. Yep, yeah, that's fine. I'm quite happy with that. Not too bothered right at this moment in time because I want to accept one of these contracts and start filling out the timetable before we expand the railway line a little 
and we're about ready so when this train comes back there is a gap in the contract and that is when we're going to take advantage the gap when this train comes back there's a gap in the timetable that is when we're going to accept the contract so I wasn't ready then I didn't have the line switched the right way so I'm wondering if this trains now gonna end up late and we're gonna have a tiny penalty but as soon as it's out the way here we can pause and go and accept the contract so let's decline that one and that one so we've got three to choose from yep three to, three to choose from there's one for 2,000 another one for 2,000 and one for 4,000 so you think oh yeah the 4,000 is going to be the best one to accept well is it there's a target speed of 65 kilometers an hour 61 and 66 on these so the expectation is lower on this um, on this commuter train they're all commuter trains and they're all reoccurring contracts and this one down here is 700 per minute penalization and 400 for a wrong platform so that one's that one is to me is a no-no because it's just like the penalty per minute is so much and they only want two grand in terms of reward no this one's much better the penalization is 500 instead of 300 which is higher but they're offering up to four grand so we're going to accept that one so we're about to do a reoccurring contract but first it'll be a trial train so here we go we've got a new train coming in um where is it Oh, here we go. Platform 2. We can accept it on Platform 2. Let's do the switching. Oh, now this is something I did not notice and I should have paid attention to. We just accepted a contract and there's a gap in the timetable at Bridgeton. But Easter House has gone like, hello, I've got a freight train waiting. Oh, that's not good. Maybe we could just like decline the freight freight train contract. Where is it? Okay, so where are we going from? From Easter House. So if we go contracts from Easter House. E A. There we go. Uh, we have to do it three times before we can decline it without penalty. Uh, the penalty. Oh, the penalty would be zero. yeah there we go we've, we've declined that we've declined that because for me this passenger service is so much more important in terms of being able to get more money and looking at this I think that's about right we haven't really got room for another train to leave yet but we'll turn this one round and send it back to platform one and we can start theorizing where the track can go. So I'm thinking we have a track from two down to this point, and then we come from here, like along here, alongside this. And then maybe we can go into platform three. I, I don't know. Um, have a sharper turn around Easter House. We'll have to have a look at that, but. Um, yeah, let's let's let that run for a bit. I do want to do that unlock. Oh, we can do it now. Brilliant. Okay, so here we go. Look. So automation auto accept trains upgrade. Congratulations, me. That means we can now auto accept trains on the on this. So trains will just come flying out at us. Okay, so looking at the timetable, I don't think we've got time to accept another train. We could have done. But we're going to get busy again until 9.50. And we've got a lot of contracts that want to go to other places. This one here has got a target speed of 71 kilometers an hour. I think that's a bit, bit ridiculous, really. We'll just keep one of those contracts for now. Okay, so we completed that contract and we did 65%, um, which is quite good. And out of the maximum four grand, we're getting 2,700. So that means we're getting more than if we would have accepted the 2,000 pound contract. We just need to remember that if we have a delay or wrong platform, we're going to get five 
uh, 100 penalization on that. So let's set that contract. And we are looking good. So we've got no trains to dispatch at the moment. I'm wondering about this platform three and turning trains around and getting signals in. Let, let's see if we can just expand this network like this. So we go one way. Let's do that. We go one way down there and we can add a manual signal here. No, wait, that's not right. Or is it? Trains trains leave which platform? They leave two and come back on platform one. So, uh, boop, 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 boop. I was correct in the first place. And I guess we can always put a one there as well. There we go. We've upgraded the network, which basically means we can accept more contracts on this little bit of network. So maybe I should explain what I did. <laughs> what I did there is that. Uh, oh no, no, no! Do not go up to Easter House. Thank you. I'll clear you to go all that way. Um, I've done this so that we can have more trains doing the same journey. I did something similar in the in the preview series. But as soon as we've got a train kind of clear of this section and in the other end, we can accept a contract for another train to come because we've got room now. Although we have got the freight train again. You know what? I, I'm going to decline the freight contract. I'm, I'm not interested right now in this sort of freight contract. It's just, it's just not what I want. Ooh, that one's going to be 4,000. Because I actually did one. Okay, well, we'll we'll deal with it for now. So we'll tr we'll turn that train round, switch the points. The freight train's coming soon. So when it does come, we'll let that one go to where it needs to. Presumably, platform two to Easter House. Presumably. Now, we haven't got any automatic signals or anything like that yet, but we've got quite a lot of trains here that want to go along our line. We've got one for 1,000, which to me is a bit of an insult. <laughs> when we got offered 4,000, so I'm going to decline that. Another one for 1,000, okay. We've got one for three. Oh, I actually need to approve the train to be able to go through the platform into the platform there. That might be a bit of a delay. We may get a penalisation on that. Um, yeah, looks like we're going to be a minute late. Yeah, we got we got a small a small charge there. Managed to get the freight train out in time. So looking at these two, I'm I think it's highly probable that we'll accept the three thousand one. So we'll just decline the others and get ready to that to do that. I'm pretty sure we we can kind of slip more into the timetable now with this upgrade, which hopefully means more trains, faster service, absolutely everything's fantastic. Unlock more things, expand the network, it's going to be brilliant. Right, there's our commuter train. So once this commuter train's out the way, that's when I'll be looking to set the contract for the next commuter train. Halfway between this one and the next one. So, this commuter train started its journey at 9.25. The next commuter train is going to be at 9.35. So, in theory, at 9.30, exactly, is when we should accept the new contract. Or at least 9.28. Uh, no, 9.29. Okay. I'm pretty sure we should accept the new contract now. It's the trains at that end. So, oh, there's a few more. So there's a four grand one with a relatively good speed. No, the speed's not great on that one. Do you feel like that four grand one would be best though? So let's let's accept that now. We're going to accept it onto platform two, and make sure the signals are right. And this is the first time I think we're going to have the two trains crossing over so one train leaves one end the other train leaves the other end we can then swap that over there let that go in there we have pretty much doubled the amount of trains we can have on this service now ok 
Okay, so just making sure that all the signals are right. I really want this to be an auto signal, so maybe that's going to be the next thing we unlock. Let's have a look at the unlocks on that side of things. So automation, auto signal. Oh, it's only five, so we'll be, we'll be able to unlock that before the, ep the, the episode. So they again, look, the two trains crossing over. Approve that into that platform. Fantastic. Look at that. It's like poetry. Turn that train round. Now we did have an opportunity there where we could have accepted another contract, but there's an there's a gap, so it'll be fine. Fifty percent. That's good. That's all right. That's not too bad in this relatively early stage of the game. That train's out, and the next train's in. So the next train on platform number two is the 945. It's just arriving now. And the train after that will be the 955. So we want a 950 service slotting in there, really. So we need to keep an eye on the time. And just before 950, we'll accept that contract. So now... Turn that train round. Let that one go there. Accept a new one. We're not interested in that or that. Okay, here we go. So another four grand one. This one, the, the target speed's much higher. I think we're actually probably going to be better off doing the three grand one because the target speed is much lower even though the penalization per minute is not great. So let's accept it. Let's accept it onto platform two. And hopefully these two trains will swap over quite nicely. Again, like they did last time. Maybe not in complete synchronization this time, but they are swapping over. Cool. Now we've got the points to uh, unlock our auto signal. We're going to have a small break in no we're not we've got another train that's coming through we're gonna have to have some pretty good automation in this to keep it flowing nicely but this kind of repetitive and flowing thing is exactly now yeah, just got that signal in time <laughs> what i'm aiming for in this series to try and just make it look absolutely spot on having a little break in the service here we're going to need it because this train's not cleared the platform yet uh, 1,800. Not the best, but good enough. Just in time to enable that signal. Well, there we go, folks. Uh, that is the first part of our railroad journey. What we're going to do before we finish off is unlock that um, auto signal, and which is the uh, build menu thing. You can see the little icon here. So the auto signal flips the uh, switch for us so it's this switch here that I'm constantly having to switch all the time so with 31 grand in the bank we should be able to afford a couple of auto signals so if we upgrade that one bearing in mind a manual signal costs two grand so upgrading only cost eight and then if I upgrade that one there as well that should do so if I then say I want to go to platform three it switches that switch and if I say I want to come out of platform 3 down to this bit it switches the switch again so that's one thing that I don't have to do now and probably the next thing that I want to do is the automatic uh, the one where you constantly have it all the time what's it called let's find it command chain yeah root queuing I think is probably one of them so is it command chain Think, yeah, per, uh, perpetual root. That's it, perpetual root. To get perpetual root, we will need five of the advanced experience. So, um, this episode, we've done quite well at starting our network off. Uh, we've got some money, we've got some experience, but next time, we're going to be chasing a few of those advanced experience to try and get some of the more useful automating rooty stuffs. Uh, I'm looking forward to it, and I hope you are too. Please leave all your thoughts, ideas and questions down in the comment section and I will see you soon. Take care and for now, goodbye.